I think there will be tension in the price. I think we're going to have to expect continued volatility. I don't see how volatility goes down, to be honest, because there is much less buffer than there's ever been. Norway, with a small 25% of that gas uh, supply, has been ramping up roughly 10%, can maybe go to 15%, but it's not enough to fill the gap. The gap has to be filled by LNG. LNG is a market that is not developed for this kind of changes. So we have got some relief. Uh, but we haven't dealt with a structural problem that we're going to have. I'm worried about the industrial part of Europe, and we are a big industrialist in Europe, but at the same time, probably a huge opportunity to be serious to our world in terms of energy transition with an economic return which makes sense today.